This is code.org. Let's see what we're working on. By combining the iterator variable, iterator is I for this. That just means the variable we're using to count. With strings, for example, label plus I in the program below, you can change the properties of many screen elements at once. Why it's saying this is because let's say my variable I is equal to two. Well, what if I named a box over here, box two or screen one or label zero? Well, label plus I, when I is equal to zero, that makes label zero. So I could set the property of label zero to uh, the color to red. And then we loop through and set the property of, well, I is now at two. So with the property of label two to red, and we can just change a bunch of things at once. Do this, read the code carefully to understand how the I variable is being used inside the loop. Up oh, and like I just said, this is changing the text color, it looks like, of everything named label something number. So this is label zero, yep. And so I starts at zero, it has to be less than four. So is zero less than four? Yes, dips down into this. Label plus I, well, I is zero. Label plus zero, okay, so that would be a string, because this is in quotes. So label zero's text color is gonna be a random text color, RGB, red, green, blue. And this is the amount you could think of like pigment, zero to 255. So it's gonna pick a random color, hits the bottom and goes, okay, zoop. Okay, I plus plus. All right, so I used to be zero, so I have to add one because it's I plus plus. So zero plus one. Okay, so I is now equal to one. Is one less than four? True, it says yes. And it dips down and runs this code again. Oh, I is one, label uh, one it must be. Up, oh, label one, text color, random color. Boop, uh, I was equal to one. One plus one is two. Is two less than four? Yes, so label four. And it keeps going until we get to I of four, and then it stops, which is good because there's only up to label three. All right, what are we doing? Uh, we want to, so that it, when you click the button, it randomly resizes each word. Okay, so we can use this for loop still. It's the point they were doing last time, but we want to set a different property now. Set property, all right? And then I'm going to grab like they have here, a plus sign. And then I'm going to use a random number for the size. And then let's pick, it randomly resizes each word. So font size is what we would need. Now, in here, I'm gonna put label because again, that's what each thing is being called and I, because that's gonna be the number, right? And so I can look in here, look, label zero, label one, label two. So that's how I'm using this to pick out these things and change the font size. Oh, I lost my random number. Give me back them out random. Um, it doesn't seem like they give us a thing, so I'm gonna say, I don't know, 10 to 30. Let's see what happens. There we go, boom, boom, boom. And I can do, maybe I, I want it more dramatic, so I'll do five to 60. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Pretty cool. And so we can use one loop, and concatenation, right? That's what it's called, smacking together this number in this string to go through multiple elements at the same time and change properties. We're getting fancy. Let's keep going.